New at 9, it's been almost a year since a driver ran a stop sign and hit a horse and its rider. The impact so hard, the horse had to be put down. Now the equestrian community is hoping to increase protection and education so horses and riders can be safer. Fox 31's Rachel Sauer has the very latest on that tonight. Yeah, Kim, well, the original incident happened on 52nd and Eldridge in Arvada, and I visited that intersection this afternoon where they now have horse crossing signs put up, but equestrians living in the area say that is not enough. In the Golden Arvada area of Jefferson County, we had a, a real tragedy that happened here. Almost a year ago at this intersection, 52nd and Eldridge. Laura Wolf and her horse Griffin were out trail riding in the morning and uh, they got hit by a car and it crushed Griffin's legs and he had to be put down. Now you can find these horse crossing signs there, but equestrians say more needs to be done. Education, you know, is definitely an aspect. Karen Hirsch, co-founder of Community Equestrian, says since this area has grown and become more developed, it has led to more people moving to the area who might not be familiar with horses along the roadways. What do you do when you approach an equestrian on the road? A lot of uh, a lot of folks don't really know. Hirsch says she's hoping for better education and also increased safety measures. What we're looking for is a law that will um, specify that you got to slow down to about 10 miles an hour and maintain six feet of distance. It's something that's already written into the federal highway code in the UK. It seems to be gaining momentum worldwide. Crash data from Colorado State Patrol for Jefferson County last year shows about 80 crashes involving animals and 19 involving pedestrians. Statewide, the department responded to more than 3,000 crashes involving animals and 24 of those included horses. I hope that we can find a way to preserve our horse community for future generations out here. Because really what horses are about are bringing people together. Now there will be a town hall tomorrow night at 6 o'clock at the G&J Lazy Barn to announce the bill they are working on called the Pass Wide and Slow Bill. It will be introduced into legislature in January. In studio, Rachel Sauer, Fox 31.